Hello and welcome to Prayer Focus. My name is Isa Thuo. I'm a Focus staff. Today we want to pray in regard to something that happened seven years ago. On 2nd of April 2015, terrorists attacked Garissa University and the aftermath of that attack is that 148 lives were lost, many people were injured, and of course a lot of grief and sorrow followed uh, that attack and we want to pray as we remember those who uh, whose lives were lost we remember those who survived pray for those who are the loved ones um, to those who lost their lives pray for Garissa University which is today as we speak up and running and also pray for all places uh, in our country and as we go into prayer, I'm reminded of the words of the hymn, Sweet Hour of Prayer. Words, one of the lines there that says, In seasons of distress and grief, my soul has often found relief and oft escaped the tempter's snare by thy return, Sweet Hour of Prayer. Let's pray. We thank you, Lord, because of Garissa University. We remember with our hearts heavy what happened seven years ago when students, most of whom were believers or who identified as Christians, and some members of staff lost their lives on that fateful morning in the hands of people who did not care about human lives, Lord, people who were out on a vengeful mission. But yet, Christ, we know that you're the one who holds us, O God. You have said in your word, in John 16 33 in this world you will have trouble but then you go ahead and say but take heart because I have overcome the world Lord we pray that the memory of these dear people may keep us alive to the fact that our lives Lord are all in your hands O Lord waking and sleeping we belong to you O Father we pray that we who have breath today would live these lives, Lord, in such a way that is honorable to you, so that, Lord, on the day you return or call us home, we will be ready for you. We thank you for those who survived that attack, some who came out whole, others who got injured in various degrees, O oh Lord. And we pray for them. We pray that, Lord, your balm of Gilead will continue to heal them, O oh Father. We pray for those who may never experience wholesomeness because probably they have a permanent scar or a physical disability. That your grace may be upon them, O oh Lord. That, Lord, you may give them strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. That they may know you are the one who holds them, O oh God. That they will not turn away from the faith, Lord. That they will be strong and they will do well, O oh God. We remember those, Lord, who are left behind by those who lost, who lost their lives. Lord, we know that grief is not easy. And because you hold each of us, Lord, we know you hold them too, O oh God. Happy are those and blessed are those who mourn because they shall be comforted. I pray that this comfort that comes from you will be steadfast in their lives, that when they remember those people who they lost, Lord, they will remember you who remains forever, who is eternal, you who has promised life, you who has said you will wipe away our tears. And on that day when there will no longer be death or tears or sorrow, Lord, because you will wipe away our tears, Lord, we pray that you may be the Lord God of all comfort for them and for the praise of your name. And we also thank you because Garissa University today is open and students are learning. We pray for that university even as we pray for other universities across the world and across our country, Lord, that students will be safe as they study. We pray that the perils that, Lord, may harm their lives will be kept at bay and that, Jesus Christ, you will hold them fast, O oh Father. And I pray that should they face any hardships, O oh God, that their hearts would remain prepared for your return more than anything, O oh God. We give you praise and we thank you. And as we mark this day on this second day of April, oh Lord, we just want to, to say thank you to you who sustains us and who keeps us, Lord, and who walks with us through and through. 
Praise be unto your name now and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We invite you to pray with especially those who survived that attack and those who lost their loved ones on that fateful day. Pray with them that God will continue to give them comfort and joy even as they live on with their lives. And you can also pray with you. Please share with us your prayer item on the Focus app. You can download it on, on Google Play Store. You can also send your prayer item on WhatsApp or on text message through the number 0723-412-412. And you can also send us a message on our social media platforms. Focus Kenya on uh, Facebook, at Focus Kenya on Instagram and Twitter, and Focus Kenya uh, on YouTube, where you can check out our other content and be blessed for the glory of God. Thank you.